Well, after U.S. President Joe Biden pulled out of his re-election bid, some Republicans called on the 81-year-old to resign from the presidency too. Biden said in his statement that he will stand down from the presidential race and focus on fulfilling duties as president for the remainder of his term. Among the voices seeking Biden's resignation is the Republican Party's presidential nominee, former U.S. President Donald Trump. On social media, Trump claimed that Biden wanted to drop out ever since June 27th, the night of the CNN debate. He labeled it as the big moment in Biden's demise. He said, and I'm quoting, that was the point in time when Joe was revealed for what he is, an incompetent man who should never have been the president. Joe Biden is not fit to serve. He is destroying our country, unquote. Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, mirrored his comment. Vance asked how Biden can justify remaining president after ending his re-election bid. The vice presidential nominee also put in a special word of praise for the presidential nominee. He said, I'm quoting, not running for re-election would be a clear admission that President Trump was right all along about Biden not being mentally fit enough to serve as the commander-in-chief. There is perhaps no middle ground here, unquote. While many Democrats called on Biden to withdraw from the 2024 race, none have pushed him to quit the presidency early. Former U.S. President Barack Obama called Biden one of America's most consequential presidents. Obama hailed his great friend and partner, saying that his decision reminded that he's a patriot of the highest order. He said, I'm quoting, Joe understands better than anyone the stakes in this election, how everything he has fought for throughout his life and everything that the Democratic Party stands for will be at risk if we allow Trump back in the White House and give Republicans control of Congress. Bill Clinton, another former U.S. president, said that Biden capped his career of service with a presidency that, as per him, lifted America out of an unprecedented pandemic, created billions of new jobs, rebuilt a battered economy. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer emphasized that Biden was not only a great president and legislative leader, but also a truly amazing human being. He said, I'm quoting again, this decision, of course, was not easy, but he once again put his country, his party and our future first, unquote. Former U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi also called Biden a patriotic American who she claimed has always put the country first. Pelosi said, and I'm quoting, His legacy of vision, values and leadership make him one of the most consequential presidents in American history, unquote.